start looking at as a new upgrade option for the install of uh, sealing boots to drywall. Um, we've had a lot of calls and concerns of humidity issues, um, whether it's off of the heels of a new install, but yet we didn't touch any of that stuff. Hey, all of a sudden my vents are sweating. Well, you had a system that was poorly running for X amount of years. You put a now high performing system in here, there's gonna be a lot of changes. So to help mitigate and kind of cover our backs as well, it's an option, decline it, great. That's no longer our responsibility. We can absolutely come out and fix it, but there's gonna be a cost to it now. Um, there was gonna be a cost originally, but it's gonna be a little more with labor. So we know when we see these hanging down, we always see the grills, but where we have the drywall cut, if you remove these two screws, there's always a little bit of attic space that you can see. So it's either not properly recessed Original uh, RNC cut it horrendously and it's just too big of a hole. But you'll be able to feel that air that's coming through it. It's hot, it's humid, it's 100 plus degrees from attic, and it's meeting average temp coming out of these vents is probably 56, 60 degrees, immediate sweating. So, kind of scientific side of it, all that, it's called hydric, hydric buoyancy. So, you have hot, humid, latent, heat filled air in the attic meeting with really cold air, it's going to immediately start sweating. So especially with Gilberto's call today, that entire house is the definition of that. And you'll see it, I'll show you photos, that there's just profusely sweating up in the attic, all the um, connections aren't properly sealed, a couple in the down below, just growth coming out of everywhere. So as the option, and we can discuss who handles what or just divide and conquer the house, is dropping all of these vents out, properly sealing with caulking all around, airtight seal. If we have to go in and spray antimicrobial just to clean up the inside, we'll do that. While the grills are down, we'll wipe the grills off and make it look new and nice again. Uh, when we're installing and doing new ductwork or adding new runs, that's the best time when to properly seal it all up. Feel around the boxes too, even though these are pretty well built, you can still feel and poke your whole finger all the way to that box. I would like to see, and we can kind of discuss whether we think that's necessary or not, of sealing, at least with some fab and mastic in these boxes for a full airtight seal. So we don't have these issues six years down the road when you install that. We don't want to have to eat that for something that we did because as Kalos, we will own our stuff. Um, so I just want to let you know on that. So hot to cold, you know, equilibrium always, once cold air sinks, hot air rises, we essentially walk in that equilibrium area of it just feels good. But you'll see as it rises, that humidity also goes up with it as well as higher heat. So when you have a high heat, high, uh, dew, um, high humidity, your dew point is going to be pretty low in the terms of when it's actually going to start sweating. And it can happen at 78 degrees. Well, that vents are already blown at 50, so you're immediately dripping water. So just paying attention to that. That could also be part of your walk, your questions. As service side, we would ask you if any concerns, anything I need to know about, other than your condenser's not running or nothing's turning on. Do you have any rooms that are, we are probing for as much stuff, so there's nothing left on the table. Same thing with you guys. During the pre-walk, I see your new system. We're gonna get this taken care of today. Do you have any other concerns? We're gonna go in your attic. We're gonna search your duct work. I do have a room that's usually hotter. Okay, I don't know if I can address it fully today, but I will take a look at part of my attic inspection. That little seed you planted right there is gonna know that they're gonna at least do something for me now, and then we can present an option later of, I see it's a six going to a room this size. I would suggest another drop-in. We can upsize your duct work. Um, we can do some change outs here, offer some kind of correction as long as you have experience. If you don't know, call for help. Um, that's gonna be the biggest thing. As long as we can present something for them, they will go miles for credibility and lack of confidence that they're not gonna have in us. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. 
Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.